Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 45 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. Today we're going to look at how to add in action scripts inside of Adobe Animate. So action scripts are used to uh, code, uh, code specific functions inside of Adobe Animate which you may want to use for um, interactivity uh, in the web content. So now for the interactivity what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a frame right here let's just uh, do this and I'm going to create a simple animation so let me just drag in a shape right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this onto a symbol so convert this into a symbol a movie clip symbol and I'm going to make an animation out of this so I'm going to right click right here and I'm going to create a motion tween over here and then onto the side just drag the shape just like this and then I'm going to uh, change the arc just like this change the arc and you can see that the uh, animation actually happens. So if I were to play this, I have my animation. And let's say for example, I want the animation to stop right over here. And I want to do this by using a programming code. So what I do is I create a new layer and I'm going to insert a keyframe right here. So what I want to do is I want to, let's say, add in an action right here, uh, telling uh, the option to stop. So I'm going to right click this and I'm going to go to actions and I'm going to uh, type in stop, open and bracket close and semicolon. So if I do that, what happens is that it adds in the code right over here in this section, which is about 27 frames. So 28 frames, sorry. So at about 28 frames, the code stop will act out. So let me just see how that works out. Let us just see how that works out. So let's go to control and then go to a test scene and what uh, the scene will start from is that it'll start playing uh, the video all right so it's exporting the SWF file so you can see that the animation actually stops in between so the stop action actually happened so what actually happened over here is that the animation played through and then it stopped right at this section right here so right from over here maybe I want to add in another interactivity so what I want to do now is when I click this, I want it to play back again. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to right click on this. Um, I'm going to go to Windows, sorry, and then go to uh, Code Snippets right here. So Code Snippets are a collection of codes uh, which you can click and apply so that you don't have to manually code each and every time you want to add in some action. So I'm going to, I'm using action scripts. So I'm going to go to Code Snippets over here. I'm going to have this shape selected. So I'm going to go to code snippets, go to action script, and I'm going to go to timeline navigation because I want to play this. So you can see that there are a lot of actions right here for drag and drop, for show an object and so forth. So you can try them out uh, specifically. So I'm going to use timeline navigation over here and over here it says uh, go to frame and play. So or go to scene and play and go to next scene and play. I just want to play. So I'm going to uh, choose go to frame and play. So I want to go to frame for uh, 28 and play. So I'm just going to double click this. And once I double click it, it says uh, that this will be applied with a instance name. So I just press OK. And you can see that go to and play has been applied. So now what I uh, simply want to do is I want to remove all of this. Uh, I, I, I want to remove all of this sorry, remove the number and uh, press 28 right over here. So what it actually does is that it adds in another action, uh, uh, action script which allows it to go to this uh, frame 28 and play. So the stop key will actually act out here and once I click uh, the shape, it will actually play again. So let's try that out. All right, so let me just go to uh, control right here and all right, so it actually stopped over there and now if I were to click it, you can see that it'll play back. So that is how the animation will actually happen. So you can see that this is how it works. So if I were to click it, an interactivity has been added. Similarly, I can create buttons so that I can go to different websites or I can replay the animation. So let me just add in a button right here. So I'm going to double click this. I'm going to right click, convert this into a symbol and convert this into a button. All right. So I'm going to double click this and I'm going to insert a keyframe right here. So I'm going to change the color over from the hover section right here. So change the color and then insert a keyframe right here as well and change the color 
over here as well. All right, so let me just go back onto the main scene right here. And then I'm going to uh, press an apply an action script over here so that whenever I click that, the animation goes to the beginning and starts playing again. All right, so now seems like I actually added the shape right onto this layer. So I want the shape to be on the main layer. So just control, press control X, select layer one and press control V and control Z. All right, control V, uh, no, control Z, control Z. All right, so I just want to drag this onto the first shape. All right, so I'm just going to delete this out and then uh, control X. And then over here, I'm going to paste this out onto a new layer maybe. Control V. All right, there you go. So this is my shape. Uh, let me just drag this down. All right. Let me just pull this up a bit again. All right. So I got this shape and I want this shape to have an action uh, to go to frame and play. Go to frame one and play. So I'm going to go to code snippets. So I'm going to go to um, frame and play. Just press OK and go to frame one and play. So what it actually does is it applies the code onto the square button shape right there. All right, so now I'm going to uh, preview this. So I'm going to go to test scene, right? All right, and if I were to click this, uh, this actually does not work out, I guess, because uh, the action script has been applied on this layer instead. So let me just press Control Z, uh, Control Z again, Control Z, all right, Control Z. All right, let me create a new layer. All right, so I'm going to rename this layer uh just rename this out by double clicking all right so it creates a new action layer so i'm going to go to this layer i'm going to go to code snippets click to go to frame and play and then press one all right so it actually applies the action onto the whole timeline now and then now i'm going to test the uh scene. all right so now it stops in between if i were to click it it will continue and if i were to click this it'll actually repeat so you can see that I can play and repeat, repeat, repeat. So this is how you create interactivity and add an action script inside of Adobe Animate. There are a lot of code snippets that you want, might want to try. I uh, hope you guys try all of them and learn about it. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.